The question is, what is MES, okay? And for those of you who know what MES is, I encourage you to watch this video. Either, if you're a really advanced MES developer, this should resonate. If you've just dabbled, this is gonna be really helpful. So, MES is Manufacturing Execution System. Okay, that's what it is. Or it may be called, you may see it referred to as MOM or MES, but Manufacturing Execution System is what MES is. Here's the problem with MES. If I say SCADA, right, Supervisor of Control and Data Acquisition, I always mean the exact same thing. The capabilities in a SCADA system, SCADA system A, SCADA system B, SCADA system C, they're always identical. They're all the same thing. They're always supervisory control and data acquisition. You acquire data, you visualize data, you control processes, you monitor processes, you can configure alarms, you react to alarms, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That is SCADA, it's always, SCADA functionality is always the same. One of the things that we run into in, in the types of projects we do is somebody will say to us, we want MES, right? I, I want MES. Well, the, the thing is, is MES is not a thing. It's many things, all right? So a manufacturing execution system, before I explain what it is, let's talk about where it fits, right? So, you know, you guys have seen this before, right? We sell stuff, we plan to manufacture stuff, we execute the manufacturing of it, we inventory it, we ship it, we get paid for it, we do it all over again. That's every manufacturer. If we look at the automation stack, right? We have cloud, we have ERP, we have the MES layer here, we have SCADA, and we have PLC HMI, right? The, the famous H, uh, automation stack, okay? If we were going to build this out, if we were going to make this, this visualization representative, this MES box would be the size of the entire stack, okay? In MES, there's basically four core capabilities in pretty much every MES system. We call this the core four. So number one, you have work orders, okay? I take something that I plan to manufacture and I turn it into a work order that work order translates into a production run, okay? That on a, an asset. Second thing is scheduling, okay? I schedule work orders to be run, okay? The third thing, this is the most common, is OEE, overall equipment effectiveness. That is how efficient are each of my assets, how efficient are my areas. It helps me understand how we're running. I use OEE, if, if you guys wanna know more about what OEE is, check the video up, up here or over there, or down here, wherever Zach decides to put it. But I, do, I go in depth explaining what is OEE and why you have to calculate it. And then the last thing is downtime tracking, okay? That's your core four. So when someone says generically MES, what they're really talking about is, or they should be talking about, work order management, scheduling work orders, tracking OEE, and tracking our downtime. OEE is A, Q, P, right? Availability, quality, and performance, and it helps us narrow down why is it we're not producing what we want to produce. Okay, so at a high level, that's MES. The problem is when someone says, I want MES, when someone says, I want SCADA, five different people say they want SCADA, they're all asking for the exact same thing. But when you get five different people who are asking you what an for an MES system, they're not talking about the same thing. Here's a list, of, let's go ahead and put our, our core four, which you generally have in basically every MES system, okay? Those are gonna be in generally every system. Um, important note, hold on, let me fix this. Important note, scheduling is the first one to get dropped off of this, okay? So if, I'm not, if there's any feature I'm not gonna have in the core four, it's gonna be scheduling. Why? Because there are many times where scheduling is handled in the ERP system and all you're doing is consuming the schedule from the ERP. The second thing that would get dropped off are the work orders. My work orders may be manufacturing orders that come from my routing inside the ERP. So I may not have core four in the MES proper, okay? You are never gonna drop these two. You're always gonna calculate OEE. You are always going to track downtime. But you also might add, and I'm just gonna list off the top of my head the other capabilities that I know of, okay? So let's start with recipe management, okay? Let's go to DQIP, uh, Digital Quality Inspection Plans. We could do uh, sample collection for quality. We could do 
SPC, statistical process control. We could do SPA. We could do ISO 9001 compliance. We could do digital work instructions. Well, recipe management could be, this could be definition, this could be spec, and this could be deviation tracking, okay? Well, inventory consuming. Or... I'm gonna get to that part. <laughs> so the next thing is, so from bomb to inventory management. So that is consuming, consuming whip and raw material, creating whip and finished goods. Um, this, you could also have kitting involved in this. Um, th those are just some of the additional, I mean, there's like a hundred other capabilities, okay? So what is MES? MES at its core is the system in the middle of your business that takes a planned, uh, something you sold that you plan to manufacture and it helps you execute the manufacturing of that thing. Okay, that's what MES is. The problem is, is that MES isn't a product. There isn't, it, there, MES is not just one um, set of solutions or capabilities. It is, what you're doing is you've got this big bucket of capabilities and you're, only, you're picking the ones that you need for your business. What I listed here was just the stuff I did off the top of my head in the space I have on the board here. The reality is, is that when someone says MES, you are always gonna have OEE and downtime tracking. You're always gonna have dashboards and you may have nothing else. And then you're almost certainly gonna add all these features. Building an MES or some of these features. I, I may go, you know, recipe management is something is a really, really critical component of our business. Or do we want to go ahead and transform our quality inspection plans, which are basically paper driven with operators standing at the end of the line doing visual inspection and some measurements to, we want to move that digital quality triggered off of certain values that we see coming off the production line, right? Or some event that happens. Digital work instructions, well, uh, document management. So is another one that we're missing. I mean, there's a, there, there are many, many capabilities of MES. When you build MES, you generally start here and then start picking from this library of other capabilities. What you need to understand walking away from this is this, MES, is, is a system that grows with the business and that MES at customer A never, ever, ever, ever equals MES at customer B, while SCADA at customer A is generally identical to SCADA at customer B.